without further ado, um, Lucas, would you like to invite the colleagues to come on stage with us? Coming all the way from Colombia, Sierra Nevada. Some of them first time traveling. Hopefully, Lucas, we can do some uh, some questions and answer at one point. You feel it? Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's we, have, we have one mic here. We will get Go two. We can have volunteers helping. It's your your the your the host now. You don't need that. No, not for now. Not well, we'll leave it here for now. Okay. Can we have the time? Yes. All right. Welcome. Enjoy, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Mm. Buenos dias en Kakaba. Monsegue. Monsegue. Good morning in, in Kakaba. Monsegue. Let's all try it. Monsegue. Uh, very good. Today, we'd like to start off with a little video that we prepared. Actually, our, our film team, they're also sitting here in front, we'll, we'll see them later shortly on stage. Um, we've just recently been to the Sierra Nevada Santa Marta, and just to give you an idea of how, how it looks there, how, how the homeland the, of the Kogi that we'll speak about today, how it looks like, and then we'll hear what it, what it means to them. Ready to go with the first video. The land is an organism. It is the body of the Great Mother. Like the organs in the body, everything has its specific purpose. Every tree, every rock and every mountain exists for a reason. Nothing is random. Like the coal in the earth is the lungs, the water is the blood. It carries nutrients and life throughout the territory and the sacred sites. All of these sites are connected all over the world. As in a body, any change can affect the entire body. It can lead to disease or even death of the land. We are the Kogi, the elder brothers and sisters, and we still remember these things. Mm -hmm. We are the guardians of the earth and we still treat the territory the way it was left to us by the Great Mother. We live in the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta in Colombia. Its real name in our language is Guanawindua. But we have lost big parts of our ancestral territory. When the Spanish arrived, we retreated to the higher elevations of the mountain. Then the Colombian farmers came and colonized the middle and lower ranges, chopping down the jungle, cultivating illegal drugs and overgrazing the pastures, leaving the land barren and devastated. Many of our sacred places were lost and some even destroyed. Today, there are the mining companies, drug cartels and tourism pressuring our land and stopping us from doing our rituals and supporting the Great Mother. Who will then take care of the land? Who will nourish the Mother, if not us? Will you do it? The younger brothers and sisters made up their own laws and say that the land now belongs to them. They would only return our ancestral territory to us if we pay them money for it. So, we decided to buy back the land, piece by piece, and have already started with a few thousand hectares. Our dream is to connect the peaks of the mountains back with the shores of the sea. Like the water flows, we want to take care of the territory again and bring it back to land. When a piece of land is returned, it needs to heal, to regenerate. But it is not us regenerating the land. The Great Mother knows exactly what needs to grow where. We support her. We call this Munikan Masha. It means to empower the earth, to give new birth to life, from 
within herself. Like all love, the Great Mother regenerates herself, if she has the right condition. So we dance for her, sing for her, concentrate and give her strength to revive again. We only live on 30% of the land, grow food and build our villages. 70% is left to her. Quickly the plants return, then the insects, the animal. We can live there again and take care of the land that was left to us as guardians. If we buy back the land until the sea, we can protect it, prevent further destructions of the body and the mother is connected again. She can breathe again. This will not only help the Sierra, but the whole planet. The elders have always told us, if we help the earth, she will help us as well. So the Kogi came here to share their message. But they also came here to ask, as they've said, for the buyback of the land. And we will speak about the territory, what the land means more today, and you will get an idea. Thanks to Planet Buyback, we have a crowdfunding campaign that is accompanied here and is also supported by Pawa. You can see here the sign from Planet Buyback. And um, if you feel called to the cause of the Kogi, it would be very much appreciated um, if you'd like to contribute to them getting their ancestral territory back. Today we'd like to start off with Anna Maria and she will present herself and speak, speak about uh, the role of the, the women and, and many other things in the Kogi. Anna Maria. Eh, buenos días, este, me llamo Anna Maria. Good morning, my name is Anna Maria. Bueno, hoy pues les voy a hablar sobre ser una mujer coy en la Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Tengo 13 años. Her name is Ana María and she is 13 years old. And today she will speak about the women, about the Kogi women uh, in the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. Bueno, Eh, lo que puedo decir, ser como una mujer Kogi, nosotra, cada mujer que está aquí en general, todo el mundo, cada mujer, representamos el agua, la laguna, el río. I am here today, here as a Kogi woman. And we women, we represent the water, we represent the rivers, the waters, the streams. Nosotras las mujeres somos la gran importancia del planeta Tierra, de la Madre Tierra, porque somos esa agua que da vida y somos importantes las mujeres. We women, we are very important. We are very important for the planet, we are very important for life, because we represent the water. Y yo aquí vine con el propósito de representar a mí, a, a lo que me representa a mí, que es el agua, que fue lo que nos dieron la Madre Tierra desde el principio a las mujeres, que es el agua, el río, las lagunas. And I came here to Paris, I came to this conference to represent the water to represent the water that was left to us in the beginning of the time, which is the lakes, the rivers, the streams. That's who we are as women. Y el propósito de la mujer como, respons como el deber de la mujer con el agua es proteger a la, el agua, no contaminarla, eh, que el agua esté limpia como la Madre Tierra anteriormente nos los entregó. And our job as the women is to represent the water, to take care of her, to keep it clean, to not uh, pollute it, and to make sure the water runs, runs free and clean. Y que por eso también no tenemos que 
eh, como somos agua, lagos, no podemos matar a las niñas porque somos esa agua. Si seguimos así, puede que el agua se seque. O maltratar el agua es como maltratar a una mujer. So we can't do any harm to the water. We can't do harm to the girls, to the women. Because if we harm the women, we're harming the water. And if we're harming the water, we're harming the women. Eh, como representó la mujer Kogi, llevo el collar, quien me representa como mujer, llevo la ropa blanca, quien también representa como eh, la mujer de la cultura Kogi. And you can see that I'm a Kogi woman because I'm wearing the red necklace. You can see that I'm a Kogi woman because I'm wearing the white clothing as it was left to us. Bueno, y pues como ya les hablé sobre el agua, ahora les voy a hablar sobre las mochilas que están aquí. Entonces, pues le voy a hablar sobre eso ahora. And as I've told you about the water, one of the other tasks or one of the other things that is for us women is, is the mochilas, the bags that we, that we weave. Bueno, la primera mochila fue que fue la Madre Tierra enseñó a la primera mujer que se llamaba Nabubua. Fue un señor. Es un, un señor, una java, una java, una mujer. No. So there was a there was a mother, a great mother, and her name was Nabubua. Nabubua, and she was the first one to weave the bags, to knit the bags. Ella fue quien cre quien hizo la primera mochila y que nos enseñó a hacer la mochila. And in these ancient times, she was the first one to, to weave the, the mochila, the bags. And she was the one to, to um, show us, to teach us how we should do this as women of the Kogi. A las mujeres nos enseñaron a hacer la mochila. A los hombres, a hacer el poporo. Como podemos ver, ahí está, el poporo. So for us women, it is how we weave the bags. It is a way to concentrate. And for the men, they have the poporro, the, the gourd that you can see the mamo using here. Eh, cuando una mujer está tejiendo la mochila, es como crear, digo, crear, eh, tejiendo la mochila es como crear el mundo, tejer el mundo, Es lo que una mujer hace tejiendo la mochila. Tejer es pensar también y crear el mundo tejiendo. So when we weave these bags as women, we're actually creating the world. We're weaving the world, we're weaving the threads of the world in the mochila. And in our culture we say, to weave is to think. Cuando tejemos no necesitamos máquinas, nada de eso. Lo que necesitamos es aguja y nuestra mano. Es lo único que hacemos al momento de tejer. And to do that, we don't require any technology and any machines. We just have our needle and our hands. That's all it takes. Bueno, como aquí podemos ver unas mochilas, here we cada, can see some of the bags. Cada mochila representa un linaje, un apellido. Esta mochila representa al apellido Shermangui, coronado. So all of the bags, they have different colors, different, different patterns, and all of them represent an ancestral lineage that is now represented by a surname. This one, the white one, represents uh, our name, coronado. El apellido que tenemos como coronado es un apellido que nos pusieron los cristianos, pero en realidad nuestro apellido es Shermangui, que representa coronado. So our name Coronado is the one that the Christians gave us, but our real name is Shermangui. Y esta mochila, el linaje que representa es el apellido Sarabata. 
And this bag represents a different lineage of our people. It represents the surname of Sarabata. Y esta mochila representa el linaje de Chimonquero. And this bag represents the lineage of Chimonquero. Cada mochila representa un linaje diferente de cada apellido. So all of the bags, all the different patterns, they represent a different ancestral lineage. Bueno, ahora yo les quería hacer una pregunta a ustedes, que es, ¿cómo podemos arreglar todo el daño o curar todo el daño que le hemos generado a la Madre Tierra con sacar muchas cosas dentro de la tierra, o sea, ¿cómo podemos arreglar eso? Explícale este, la tecnología que, que eso viene así. Bueno, la tecnología como por ejemplo... So, un, un segundo. She, she wants to ask a question to you, but first she will explain something. Bueno, como la tecnología sería como todo lo que el ser humano ha hecho, el avión, celulares, computadores, puro tecnología, que está hecho, que todo eso está hecho por la Madre Tierra. Entonces, eso es como sacarle cosas de la Madre Tierra, o sea, dañe, hacerle daño a una mujer. Es como, si ustedes me, me están sacando cosas de mi cuerpo, o sea, es un daño. So, she's explaining, because we've heard a lot about the technology yesterday. Escuchamos mucho de la tecnología ayer, ¿no? So, we've heard a lot about the technology yesterday. She was listening to the talks. And she was asking herself, we were sitting at night, and, and she asked me, and we, we spoke about it, and she said, um, like, if we build all this technology, where does it come from? Where do all the materials come from? Like, all the things we build, all the, the metals and everything, and... We spoke about it and, and she said, well, they come from the earth, right? Like, you actually take things out of the earth to build all of these things. And for us, the body of the mother of the earth is the body of a woman. So you're taking things out of the body of the woman. Entonces, esa sería mi pregunta. ¿Cómo podemos curar a la Madre Tierra con todo lo que hemos hecho? Con todo el daño que le hemos hecho, ¿cómo podríamos como sanar esas heridas que le hemos hecho? Ah, y lo que más adelante haremos, lo que más adelante haremos con la tecnología, o sea, es un daño muy grande que le estamos haciendo a la Madre Tierra desde ahora y al futuro. ¿Cómo serán esas heridas de la Madre Tierra? So she, she was asking yesterday and also today in the morning, and now she's saying that, that like, we're taking so much out of the earth, we're taking all the metals, the minerals, everything that, we, that you used to build uh, the technology, So we're taking it out of the body of the mother, and she wants to ask you, how do you think this damage can be, can be healed? How do you think this damage from what we've already taken out of the earth, and for the future what, will we, what we need to take out, out of the body of the earth, to build more technology, how will this be healed? I think we have a microphone somewhere here, if someone feels called to answer. Vamos a ver lo que dice. So, any volunteers? I mean, it's an easy question, right? <laughs> so, thank you for your courage to uh, to be on stage here. Gracias por 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 estar aquí hablando. And I don't have the answer, but maybe some thoughts. Uh, Él no tiene la respuesta, pero tal vez algún pensamiento. 
Um, so first of all, maybe the circular, thing, circular thinking. So what we took out, can we restore it, reuse it, or maybe sometimes bring back? I mean, if you took out gold, it's difficult to put it back. Uh, but if you took out the good soil, you can bring back good soil maybe. So I think if we implement circular thinking, we, we don't waste it, but we reuse it. And that maybe it's much better in terms of balance with the women. Um, bueno, él dice que de repararlo, o sea, de poner, de regresar las cosas dentro de la tierra, eso sí va a ser muy difícil. Pero por lo menos podemos intentar de hacerlo como circular, o sea, que esto lo que ya sacamos, que no lo botamos, pero que lo seguimos utilizándolo, 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 para que no tenemos que, que sacar más. Eso. How, how would that feel as women? Sorry? How would that feel as a woman? Because she relates it to women, so that mm -hmm. changes the perspective. Esto, esto lo que él está explicando, o sea, que el daño no se puede reparar, pero ya no hacer más daño. Él está preguntando, como mujer, como dijiste que la madre es como el cuerpo de la mujer, ¿cómo sientes eso? ¿Es suficiente o hay que sanar más? ¿Cómo, cómo lo ves lo que dice él? Pues sí, lo que dice él, es sí, verdad, porque no podemos reparar el daño de todo lo que hemos causado, no podemos reparar el daño fácilmente, pero sí podemos eh, ir como avanzando poco a poco y como curar esas heridas poco a poco, no rápido, poco a poco, con paciencia, hacerlo. She said it's good, but we need to heal it. And she understands it's not, it's not going to be a quick process. But she suggests going little by little, step by step, we need to take on that endeavor to heal these wounds. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes. See, anyone else? Yeah. Bueno, no, no sé si hablando en español o en inglés, pero okay. Pero okay, en inglés. Tú puedes, ser, tú puedes traducirte a ti misma. Okay, <laughs> that sounds good. Okay. I think, uh, creo que lo que dijiste es muy valiente. Y me encanta que tú, como mujer de 13 años, nos des el ejemplo de lo que tenemos que hacer. Tenemos que alzar nuestras voces y decirle al mundo que está herido y cambiar persona a persona, alma a alma. Yo creo que ese es el cambio de mentalidad y de corazón, es lo que nos puede ayudar a cambiar la madre tierra. So now in English, <laughs> um, I think uh, she's very brave and she's given us a very good example what each soul and person can do to give back to the earth, to the mother earth. Every day uh, we have simple decisions and many of us have power of decision and power and influence to other ones to change the mentality and this is what we can do. We can raise our voices, ask her, and step by step giving back to Mother, Mother Earth. Yeah. Any other responses? Yes, on the back. Um, well, thank you for your question. Um, my answer to that is um, I don't think anybody uh, has the answer to uh, what can we do, you know, uh, but, but I think the answer will come from Mother Earth itself. Because from our? The answer will come from Mother Earth, from Mother Earth. itself. Um, because very soon, uh, sooner than we think, she won't have anything left to give us. So we won't have any resources to dig into the earth anymore. And Mother Earth will, in that way, give, force the answer to us. That's my first comment. The, the other comment I have is... Can you speak more into the microphone, please? Okay, like this. Yeah. Perfect. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, sorry, I had another comment. And I just let, let me translate that one. Yeah. Um, bueno, él dice que él cree que nadie tiene la, la respuesta a tu pregunta, pero la re respuesta va a venir de la madre misma. Porque ya hemos sacado tantas cosas, tantas, tantas cosas, que ya no va a haber, que ya no, que ya no hay para sacar más. Entonces la respuesta va a venir directamente de la madre misma diciendo que ya no hay, ya no, ya no voy a dar más. Esa es la primera cosa que quiere decir. Yes, continue, please. Yeah, thank you. And um, the other comment I have about um, what, what, what can we do is uh, we have to change the vision that we we have of our role as human species in, instead of uh, dominating nature be the servant of the nature and consider that our role here is to take care of life in all its forms and well that's my comments i don't know if it's an answer but it's what i think about it thank you he dice Um, que él cree que el, nuestro deber como humanidad es no como de dominar, de excavar más, pero de cuidar la madre, de ser parte de la madre, parte de la naturaleza y de, de, sí, de aprender otra vez de ser guardianes. Eso es lo que, lo que él piensa. Bueno, no es una respuesta, pero es lo que él comenta. Okay. Sí. Así, more hands. Um, yes. Maybe take two or two or three more, and then we can continue as well. Because okay. I think she has another question. Then, yeah. Hello, um, thank you for your presence. Um, Gracias por tu presencia. I have a question for you, because I'm thinking: Do you think there's a way that we can use the technology and kind of turn it around to use it to heat? to heal the earth, or do you think this is not possible? La señora te está poniendo una, una pregunta a ti de, de respuesta. Ella dice que, um, ¿qué es lo que crees tú? La tecnología también podría ser parte de la sanación. O sea, puede haber tecnología que puedes ayudar a sanar la tierra o eso nunca va a ser así. Pues yo creo que eh, pues hay cosas de la tecnología que no todos son malos. Algunos son buenos, nos ayudan también. Entonces creo que mi respuesta sería que tal vez un poco de la tecnología que hemos creado nos ayudaría un poco a volver a sanar todas esas heridas de la Madre Tierra. Pues es mi, mi opinión. ¿Cómo, cómo? ¿Qué? O sea, porque hay tecnologías que no todos sí, sí, son no malos. No todos son malos, sí. So, hay algunos Entonces, ¿qué, que qué sirven, sirven, sí. sirven. A, a sanar la Tierra. Sí. Hay algunos que podrían servir a sanar la tierra. So she says that not all technology is bad as such. A lot is, and the way we've built it already, often is. But potentially she believes that there could be some technology that could actually at least not harm or maybe even help to heal. Um. Thank you for being here. Gracias por estar aquí. This question is profound because it's not just the Mother Earth that is hurting. I think the only way to move beyond the suffering and the pain and the destruction is to actually heal ourselves first. And to do that, maybe technology needs to take a back seat and we need to live more consciously and take that as a starting point for healing. 
El Señor está diciendo que hay dos cosas que sanar. Uno es sanar la madre tierra, pero el otro es sanar la humanidad. Porque nosotros también viviendo así, como la forma de vivir, nos, nos hace una herida. O sea, nosotros también no estamos, no estamos 100% bien. Y por eso Él dice de él, lo que Él cree, es lo que toca hacer es concientizar más. O sea, el desarrollo de la conciencia tiene que ser una parte más grande y el desarrollo de la tecnología una parte más pequeña. Porque ahora la tecnología la estamos desarrollando como grande, la conciencia como pequeña. Y hay que, que, hay que ponerlo al revés, o sea, el pensamiento, el, la conciencia, eso sí hay que, sí hay que, um, que, que sea una parte más grande. Let's have one more and then uh, maybe to continue. Hola, muchas gracias para estar aquí. Hello, I'll thanks for being here. I'll say in English the question. Just to go off of what was just shared, I want them to know that there are groups of people that have been very influenced by the voice of the indigenous by wanting to bring back these ancient ways and wanting to remember um, our responsibility as humanity to be stewards of this planet and also empower the women to guide humanity back into harmony and wholeness. And I've been privileged to hear about these new technologies that are being developed by groups of people holding this consciousness that do have regenerative technologies that are using um, sound and frequency to regenerate the earth. And I just, I would like to maybe after share more about this with her so she can be aware that these new technologies are arising and I think they're arising because people are starting to turn inward. Ella dice que, que quiere que tú sepas o que ustedes sepan que hay diferentes tipos de tecnología. Hay tecnología que hace daño, pero también hay grupos de personas que ya otra vez se están acordando del, del pensamiento indígena, que están inspirados o influenciados del pensamiento indígena. Ellas desarrollan como otra clase de tecnología, una clase de tecnología que, por ejemplo, que trabaja con sonido, que trabaja con diferentes cosas. Y si tú quieres, después de, de la charla, de, de, de la conferencia, ella te puede explicar en más, más detalle cómo es. Y este tipo de tecnología nueva, o sea, no es, no es como lo que tú conoces, como, como los megaproyectos, no, no es eso. Que ese tipo de tecnología podría ayudar a sanar a la madre también. Y si quieres, después ella te explica más cómo es, en qué consiste. Pues sí, estoy de acuerdo contigo también porque, como dije, no toda la tecnología es mala. También es bueno y también sirve como para la humanidad de aquí. Entonces, creo que también estoy de acuerdo contigo que, que haga que, que no toda, que también un poco de la tecnología nos pueda ayudar a sanar esas heridas de la madre tierra. So, as she said, not all technology not as bad and it can also help us, it can also help humanity. And um, so we need, to, we need to work on the technology that is actually also there to, to help Mother Earth. Bueno, ahora otra pregunta para ustedes. ¿Qué tecnología, como ustedes son muy inteligentes, ¿Qué tecnología podíamos, pueden hacer una tecnología que no esté hecha por la Tierra, que no esté sacado dentro de la Tierra? ¿Qué tecnología pueden hacer? She has another question and she said she's, she's listened to all the talks and all the very intelligent people yesterday presenting many, many intelligent things. And she was like, if we are so intelligent, why don't we build a technology that works without taking things from inside the earth. And she's putting the challenge to you guys. She's putting the challenge to you guys to develop that. And if there are any ideas or any, any things, 
um, yeah, it would be interesting to hear to hear some voices on that. Vamos a ver lo que dice la gente. This is very um, uh, emotional, even transcend transcendental moment for me because five years ago I was sitting where you're sitting and during Paris Climate Week, this is the second year of a Paris Accord, um, and I caught myself on stage saying, save the earth, save the earth, and I realized the egotistic aspects of me and of this one species, 150,000, maybe 2 million year humanoid, right? Comparing to the 4.7 billion year history of this planet and how powerful, how mama guy, how resilient that is. But that doesn't give us permission to continue to give the stress, the harm that we can see with our bare eyes, the damage of it. El señor dice que ese es un momento como muy emocionado para él porque hace cinco años él también estaba en una conferencia hablando en Paris Climate Week, sí, en, como en una conferencia aquí también en París sobre el tema del, del cambio climático y él estaba diciendo no que, que, tenemos, que tenemos que cambiar eso, que tenemos que cuidar la tierra porque hay muchos, muchos, muchos como como especies, como animales, como plantas, como aves, como insectos, o sea, hay muchos. Y nosotros humanos somos solo uno. ¿Y qué nos da el derecho de sacar de dentro de, la, de, de cosas de, de, de la tierra? ¿Qué nos da el sacar de seguir con este, con, con, o sea, presionando la tierra, dañando la tierra? No tenemos ese derecho. Y por eso él se siente muy emocionado que tú estás diciendo lo mismo que él hace, hace cinco años. I may have an answer to your question. Uh, it's more a journey, a, a thought, which is because, because of uh, uh, universe and earth is so resilient, if we give it a chance, we, human race, give it a chance, stop harming it, you may, we see so many evidence, it uh, regenerates itself very, very quickly. So the answer may be a Conscious, consciousness revolution or conscious technology or conscious culture because there's nature and there's human culture like Kogi's, like some of us, uh, our personal journey so far. So if we tap into that and work with nature, sun is good technology, so is soil, and work with culture, like a regenerative culture, then modern tech, uh, tech and science can be the third pillar to find the balance. Again. Bueno, está diciendo que primero para construir esa otra clase de tecnología que no saque, hay que elaborar la, la conciencia, el conocimiento, porque si no, si seguimos así de esta forma, no, no, se va, no se va a poder. Por eso ese es el desarrollo de la conciencia, el desarrollo del, del, de la forma de cómo comemos la tierra. Eso es lo primero lo que lo hay que desarrollar. Y después la tecnología puede apoyar también en eso, puede, puede cambiar, pero eso es lo, lo, lo importante. Hi, thank you so much for being here. Um, it's really nice to, to see you um, and to be Gracias able to experience this. Gracias por estar aquí, se alegra mucho de verte y de verlos. I think the answer to that question is an amalgamation of what everyone has been talking about. And it's not that the technology is not there, it's that there's not a common good to reach that technology. And the only way we're going to reach that common good is by doing what people have been saying, which is the inner work, which is uncovering our truth, our light, so that we can step into a path that is in alignment to everyone. Because at the moment, the focus is on external power, money, uh, you know, land, all of these things. But if we move into authentic power, into this feeling that we are all united and connected, that's when we're going to be able to bring to light the technology that already exists or that is already in the mind of people, but doesn't have the scope to make it where it needs to be. 
Um, yeah, thank you. I will, I will translate in a, in a second. And um, the question, as I understood, she asked was also like, how would that technology look like? And, and I will translate and, and we'll keep references to inner work, the inner work, and we say the technology is there. I think it might help her to have an example of how a technology could look like that is not actually using metal, minerals, these kind of things from inside the earth. Just she gets an idea if, if anyone knows about it. I'll first translate and you can think about it. Um, está diciendo que no es que esa tecnología no existe, es que ya, ya existe, pero el, lo que necesitamos es el, lo que también los otros ya han dicho, o sea, el camino interior, o sea, el pensamiento interior tiene que cambiar, porque ahora no existe como la forma de, de cómo hacer, de cómo implementar eso, porque estamos muy, muy, muy viendo el mundo de afuera, o sea, las cosas, ahí lo que pasa, o sea, muy como los, los materiales, no estamos viendo adentro, como que tenemos adentro de nosotros, de adentro del pensamiento, que es, que es como lo que tenemos en, en la luna, como eso. Y él dice que eso es, es lo importante, que tenemos que trabajar en eso, también lo que más o menos dijo el otro señor, para poder facilitar que nos unimos en este, en este fin, en este objetivo de hacer otra clase de tecnología que ya no hace daño. Hello. Now I've got even difficult question to answer. Um, uh, can you put the mic more to your mouth? Yeah. For me, I believe that we will not stop technology moving because um, we are creators um, and humans are behind everything. Everything we're sitting on, everything we do, the microphone I'm using now, have come from humanity. So my belief is we do have the answer. If we have made the earth sick, then collaboratively together, and I may even put my hand in this room, there are some of the smartest people on the planet in this room. And I believe maybe next year we can have that answer and contribute in a better way the consciousness and the ethics of entrepreneurship. And it does need to start in business too. And with big corporations like Deloitte, I'm blown away that you are here as an ex-banker at UBS sitting here. Um, but it's the only way to move forward. Um, regardless of greed and everything else, technology can be used for good or bad. And I have hope in every human here and every human on this planet, we all want to do good. So um, I would hope that we have an answer for her next year because the way technology is improving and the biodiversity of some of the projects happening now, I believe we will change it if we want to. It, we just need to make a decision. Ella dice que fuimos nosotros humanos que hemos hecho el, el daño a la madre tierra. Hemos sacado las cosas, hemos destruido, hemos cortado los árboles. O sea, fuimos nosotros. Si tenemos el poder de destruir, también tenemos el poder de sanar. Y ahora las cosas están desarrollando muy, muy, muy rápido la tecnología. O sea, no es, no es como en Colombia, como los ustedes conocen, que es como más o menos igual como hace 10 años. Ya ayer vieron una de las cosas más modernas, más avanzadas del mundo. Y ella crea que tu pregunta es muy buena y muy inteligente. Y ella espere si nos volvamos a encontrar de aquí un año, aquí en la conferencia. En este año se puede pensar más de eso, se puede empezar a desarrollar de cómo se puede hacer mejor la tecnología y espera en un año darte una buena respuesta a tu pregunta de aquí, el siguiente año, aquí en París. Sí, o sea, que, que, que por, porque el desarrollo va como muy rápido. Ahora sí, tal vez no tenemos la respuesta, pero lo podemos pensar y desarrollar durante el siguiente año y tal vez en un año vamos a tener la, la respuesta a tu pregunta. Es lo que dice ella. Thank you for uh, being so brave. Um, I would like to add on the comment in the back uh, a few minutes ago. I think there's a lot of potential in not just sound or music, but also light, photonics, water, 
and fire because we discover scientifically a lot about let's say water light and sound that's healing creative and and regenerative it has all been proven in the last now, five ten years i don't think that's a coincidence so i fully agree there's a lot of potential in organic technologies with new consciousness that's the baseline to help heal the planet and I'll stop here because of your translation, but I want to add some more, but please go. Está diciendo que también poco como como dijo antes la otra señora que ya hay como tecnología que trabaja más con sonido o con la luz, no como como la tecnología que ya conocemos, o sea, es otra clase de tecnología que ya poco a poco se va desarrollando y eso también puede sanar mucho, o sea, puede ayudar mucho en sanar la humanidad, sanar la tierra y eso. Y él dice que el potencial de lo que él se llama la tecnología orgánica, como la tecnología orgánica, que no sea de la tierra, pero como de orgánico, es enorme. Pero recién se va desarrollando. Él va a seguir explicando. Great. Um, another example is, um, if you look at computers, they are digital. Uh, computational. Now we are moving to quantum computing. The quantum technologies um, have been involved for five years. It moves closer to nature because nature itself has quantum properties like photosynthesis, for example. So we are moving to technologies that are more in line with nature. That's the second part. The third part is about artificial intelligence. Uh, right now we have bio-inspired artificial intelligence, GPT as well, it shows properties of nature, like emergence, self-organization, so artificial intelligence becomes more lifelike to a certain degree as well. So there's a lot of movement in technology moving towards the principles of nature and the universe. Um, el señor dice que um es como el, el desarrollo ahora de la tecnología, para darte un poco de, de ejemplo, es que, por ejemplo, la, la inteligencia artificial ya lo están creando como que parece más a la madre, que parece más a la vida. O sea, eh, él estaba explicándolo porque la forma como ahora estamos creando eh, tecnología, por ejemplo, un, un computador como eso, va como digital, o sea, es como, es una forma de la tecnología como lo vemos, pero ahora se va desarrollando otra clase de computadores que funciona totalmente diferente, no como, no como lo conocemos ahora, o sea, va a ser diferente. By the way, I'll leave it to you to explain quantum computing to her in, in the break. Um, porque es, es como, es una tecnología muy complicada, le dije al señor que, que él te lo explique en la, en, en, en la, en la pausa, porque yo no sé explicarlo, es, es muy complicado. Y, um, sí, y, y por, eso, por eso se va desarrollando una tecnología que parece más como de los principios, como hay principios de que está basada la tecnología. La tecnología como eso, por ejemplo, no está basado como en los mismos principios de la vida, de la madre, como la ley de C. Y él dice que ahora podría haber otra clase de tecnología que está de acuerdo con las leyes de la, de la madre, las normas de la madre. Pero recién se va desarrollando, o sea, no, hasta ahora no hay, o sea, lo que hemos visto ahora no está de acuerdo, no, no es de acuerdo con la Madre Tierra. Pero puede haber otra tecnología que está basada más en los principios de, de la vida, de la Madre. Esto que dice él. Hello, thank you. Um, my name is Eric from Sweden, but my name is also uh, Vaala Fauti, and I'm the high chief for my village in Samoa. And I have had the same questions as you have had many times. And I think it's very clear that you had a simple question that got answered with a lot of very confusing answers. <laughs> so I'm guessing you're leaving with more give, questions. Give me a second, Mr. Slate. Él eh, también es, él es indígena, él viene de, de Samoa, es como un, un, un grupo de islas, como el del Pacífico, como, como muy, muy, muy lejos. 
Y él dice que tiene um, las mismas preguntas que tú. Él se pregunta la misma cosa. <risa> y um, él dice que tú les pusiste una pregunta muy inteligente y muy sencilla. Y ahora hemos escuchado muchas respuestas muy confundidas y muy complicadas. I have the same feeling, so. Se siente, o sea, te siente como te sientes, o sea, se están preguntando lo mismo. So I, I will try to give you a very concrete answer to that question of how can we use technology to release the pressure on Mother Earth. Uh, and I represent a technology called Control Environment Agriculture. But what we actually do is understanding ecosystems and then mimicking them and then rebuilding them with the help of technology so we can push controlled ecosystems to provide us with the food and the materials that we need. So that's one way of moving the pressure of Mother Earth into a control system with the help of technology. And there are many ways that we can use that technology Uh, to release the pressure that you are talking about. Uh, the first one would be food. It's very close, it's near, we are doing that right now. But another one is when we can control all of the parameters in an ecosystem, we can grow whatever plant that we need to grow. And you have a lot of plants, a lot of knowledge that we need to unlock for the whole society, the whole world. And we can do that uh, with the help of this technology. Sí. Oh. Um, bueno, él dice que um, la respuesta que él quiere dar es lo esencial, lo, lo principal. Si creemos tecnología, la tecnología tiene que imitar la madre. Tiene que bas estar basado en los, la misma forma como lo hace la madre. La tecnología tiene que ser igual. Porque si no está igual, si está diferente, no va de acuerdo con la madre. O sea, no, esto hay que ser. La tecnología tiene que estar de acuerdo con la madre. La forma de hacerlo es observar bien la naturaleza, cómo lo hace ella, cómo crecen, cómo lo organiza. Hay que observar bien, 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 bien. Y después se puede crear una tecnología que puede estar y funcionar de la misma forma como está funcionando la madre. Y... Él dice que, por ejemplo, la, 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 la cosa con que tenemos que empezar es la forma de la agricultura. Porque, ¿te acuerdas cuando venimos en tren? Ya vimos como, como la, la agricultura industrial, que, que solo se pone una planta así, una forma de, 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 de especies. Esto va destruyendo la, la madre, porque así no es. En un bosque hay muchos árboles, muchos animales. O sea, es muy como distinto. Y... Ahora la forma de cómo hacemos la agricultura no está imitando la, cómo está la haciendo la madre. Um, ustedes, como lo, como lo hacen con sus chakras, con sus fincas ahí, en, en, con, con sus fincas ahí en, en, la, en la sierra, así lo hacen. O sea, ponen limón, ponen aguacate, ponen plátano, ponen de todo. O sea, todo crece juntos. Y él dice, la forma de hacer es como, es como imitar... Eso, cómo la hace la madre misma, aprender de la madre misma. Y esto, por ejemplo, en, se necesita de aprender las plantas, de todo eso muy bien para entender cómo se podría hacer. Uh, okay, thank you. Um, yeah, really enjoying, I'm right here in the, in the front. Okay. Really enjoying uh, the, the questioning and the answering process, and I really appreciate, I can really feel their deep philosophical curiosity to understand our culture in a, in a, in a better way. Uh, so I think that's a very beautiful thing. And um, you know, I, I guess I want to say that um, we need to think about these issues philosophically. Um, you know, a culture like the Kogi is based on continuity, on the idea of you know, maintaining the earth in its proper balance. Uh, a culture like the one of the West became, for whatever reasons, uh, invested in this idea of transforming the world, knowing the world in a very instrumental way. Uh, and um, in a way, there, there must have been some sense in which the mother uh, wanted to also have the world known in such a way, or we couldn't have got on this exploration. Could you maybe translate that, and, and then I'll try a little more? Um, 
Él está diciendo que um, hay que hay que entender el pensamiento que está atrás. Por ejemplo, ustedes vienen de una cultura que piensa mucho en conservar, piensa mucho en cuidar, en ser guardianes de la madre. En revés, la cultura occidental, la cultura aquí, piensa en el desarrollo, piensa en transformar, piensa en cambiar lo que hizo la madre, no en cuidar y mantener. Y hay que entender por qué es así. ¿Por qué ustedes piensan en cuidar, en mantener, en sostener, en, en, en estar pensando que la madre lo dejó bien? Aquí la gente piensa, no, que, que está mal, hay que, hay que mejorarlo, hay que transformarlo. Y dice que es, esta forma de pensamiento es el problema. So, yeah, so, in a way, as, as deeply problematic and destructive our technological development is, it has also unleashed new discoveries. And one thing it's done is brought the world together. So for instance, people living in France or in China would never know about a culture living in Africa or like your culture in South America. So one of the positive aspects of this technology is it's making all cultures aware of each other, making all people aware of each other. And that couldn't have happened without planes, microphones, uh, computers, and all of this stuff. So, so in a way, maybe we can see that there's an element of this technology that is also part of the destiny of the Earth. Él está diciendo que esta forma de desarrollo hizo mucho daño, pero también nos conectó. Por ejemplo, ustedes están aquí ahora conociendo Francia. Yo, por ejemplo, me fui allá a conocer allá. La gente de diferentes partes del mundo se va conociendo, vamos aprendiendo de uno al otro. Eso también es algo bueno que nos, que nos ayudó la tecnología. O sea, sin la tecnología no hubiera sido posible. Now, we don't know where things go from here, and it is possible that the experiment lends, ends in human extinction, You know, it, it, could, it could be that is the case. Perhaps what's coming is a different transformation or, or a different evolution where, you know, kind of the, the ethos of continuity that the indigenous people represent and the ethos of transformation that the uh, Euro, you know, European civilization represents can, can integrate and create some kind of new form. que... El, el camino del occidental que hemos, que hemos cogido de la destrucción, pero también del desarrollo, no sabemos a dónde va. Puede ser que, que, que va a morir la humanidad, o sea, puede ser que no vamos a sobrevivir como, como humanos, que, que ha sido una muy mala idea de hacer ese camino de desarrollo, no se sabe, o sea, eso es como un, un experimento, es algo que estamos viendo. Y él espera que, que no sea así, pero que, que hay que también pensar de, de, de cómo, cómo, cómo vamos. And, um, oh, I had one more thought about this. Um, yes, so, so, so for instance, when she asks about technology that doesn't require minerals from the earth, that, for instance, is, uh, let's say, software. So now that we've actually built the, you know, which was extremely destructive and continues to be destructive, the, the hardware of the digital information systems, the global communication networks, now we can build on top of that software, which is a form of technology that doesn't require more minerals to, to create, but actually allows us to kind of uh, reorient human society, redirect energy, Uh, and so on. Once, but we had to build that infrastructure first in order to maybe have that next evolutionary capacity. Entonces, él dice, por ejemplo, que el computador mismo está hecho de, de materiales, de minerales y todo eso. Pero los programas que están desarrollando, o sea, eso es lo que, lo que vemos. O sea, eso no necesita más materiales. O sea, con el mismo computador, con la misma máquina, se hace como más, más, más cosas que no son hechos de, de materiales ya, o sea que cuando una vez tienes el, el, el computador ya no necesita más, o sea, de, de eso ya es. So yeah, the, the question from here would be, you know, are there ways then, now that we've reached this level of evolution, which we have to see to, to you know, from the industrial revolution until today is really a very short period of time, just a few hundred years, and humanity is still catching up 
you know, like our consciousness is still developing to realize what we've done. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a very new phenomenon. But maybe from here, the technology moves in a different direction towards uh, regenerating natural systems, towards uh, recycling, towards, uh, towards you know, what, what could be a more long-term flourishing and thriving situation for the planet as a whole. Entonces, él ve como que ahora el, el siguiente paso es de cambiar la tecnología. O sea, la tecnología como ahora no, no podemos seguir. Hay como, se necesita como una evolución, algo que, que no hace daño, algo que, que puede regenerar, porque si no, no, no podemos seguir así. Y vamos viendo si se, si se puede conseguir, si se puede lograr eso. There's no guarantee that that will happen. I can't even say that it looks probable, but at least we can open that discussion and, and, and welcome you here to have that discussion with us. Thank you. Eh, él dice que no se sabe si lo vamos a poder. O sea, no se sabe si podemos lograrlo, si podemos hacer algo que, que esté bien sin hacer daño, pero lo vamos a intentar y podemos hablar también con ustedes cómo podría ser. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Eh, lo que yo pienso es que como ustedes piensan más en el desarrollo y nosotros pensamos más en la naturaleza, creo que siento que nos estamos sobrepasando mucho con la tecnología. Entonces, eso, eso pues, pues sí, eso está afectando mucho. Nos estamos sobrepasando con mucha tecnología. Entonces hay, hay que como, como no avanzar más la tecnología, porque hay mucha tecnología que está afectando mucho a la madre tierra. La madre tierra nos brinda todo, comida, árboles, animales, y hay que conservar eso y no seguir avanzando más con la tecnología. Okay, before I'll, I'll translate so everyone can clap. Um, yo les dije que voy a traducir primero porque ya estaban, estaban haciendo el aplauso, pero ellos que no entienden español que también pueden hacer el aplauso. Um, well, she basically doesn't believe in the evolution of technology. She says um, that um, we've already built so much technology do we really think the solution is to build more and develop it further? Or should we rather take a step back and, and reduce it and say, why do we need more, basically? We are, we are sobrepasando, we are, we, are, we are like overdoing it. We're overdoing it, in, in her opinion. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll continue now. Este, tú quieres decir algo más de la compra de la tierra, no? Y después le pasamos a, a tu papá. ¿Qué, qué ibas a decir? Eh, pues, pues, por lo que escuché fue que van a hacer comp la compra de tierra de cuánto? De, de 30 mil dólares. Entonces, mi pregunta sería, todo este edificio, todo este edificio que es muy grande, con todo lo que han creado y con toda esta plata del edificio, ¿cuánta tierra podríamos comprar? La tierra en la sierra. ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto podríamos comprar con ese edificio? Me imagino que mucho, ¿no? Can, can we put back on the slide of the planet buyback of the land? Uh, the land buyback. The one we had. It's coming. So, um, as we said in the beginning, we're, we're, collecting, we're collecting money also for the land buyback of the ancestral territory, which we've quickly seen in the, in the film in the beginning. And we decided to put the value of, of 30,000 US dollars, which actually would buy, I don't know, like 20, 30 hectares of land maximum in, in Colombia, maybe even less. I mean, prices are rising everywhere. And she's asking, we're sitting in this conference building here, we're sitting in this conference hall. It's very big. It's very big, and it has a lot of cost, a big value. And instead of build, building these these buildings, and yeah, and she also said like in, in like these buildings that also de destroy and, and 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 actually cover the earth. Like, how much land could we buy with the value of what we build in this building? How much land could we buy with with that money?
And I mean, buy, buying for them, as we said in the beginning, is to regenerate, to keep it, to keep it in original state. That's what she, yeah, what she's asking. I think that's that's a good call. So if everyone feels feels called, um, it would be uh, it would be very good to yeah to maybe donate donate something. Bueno, le, le pasamos. I think we'll have her, have her later with, with questions, but now we'll pass to, to, to her, her father and, and the mamo. Le pasamos a ti. Este, arigos, esta es la hora, o sea, nos queda una hora. ¿Cómo? Nos queda una hora. Por ahí. Okay. Hola. Hola. Good morning. Hola. ¿Eso está prendido? No. Sí. Okay. Bueno, eh, bueno, escuchando todo esta conversación, es, este es intercambio de conocimiento es muy bueno. Listening to the conversation, this interchange of knowledge is very valuable. Estamos hablando de las tecnologías. Eh, me cuentan los mamos, los mamos, no sé si los mamos han dicho, sin tecnología, simplemente con un conocimiento ancestral, con el conocimiento aprendido desde la madre, desde el agua, desde la cueva, los mamos saben que en otro planeta, donde será, no lo saben, que existe ser humano. Y el lugar se llama Malcuaba, y las personas de los tribus se llaman Tejuna. 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 Ellos lo saben que en otra, fuera de, de la tierra, existe eso ser humano. Fuera. Sin tecnología, fuera de planeta Tierra. Sin, sin tener ninguna tecnología. So he's speaking of the mammoths. The mammoths are the, the wise, the wise uh, men of the Kogi, they're the Sakas, the wise women. Voy explicando cortico quiénes son los mammoths. I'll just quickly explain who are the mammoths so you get an idea of what he's talking about. So um, the mammoths are the, the wise men and since four thousands of years at least they have an active remembering of their culture, of the wisdom tradition. And what is really special is that this wisdom tradition was never broken by colonization. It was never broken, it is still alive since thousands of years. And this is, I mean, you see, you see, they're still wearing their own clothing, they have their own, own uh, everything, their own culture, their, their own language. It's not been broken, it's not been lost. And the mammoths are the people receiving one of the toughest educations. Not all of them, but some of them in the world. As a small kid, they get brought into a cave, into a dark cave, or sometimes in Nuhue, a, a world house, like a big house, and they spend many, many years in the darkness to learn to navigate the spirit world, to learn to navigate, to travel to other worlds. So the Kogi are not a people using um, any sort of psychedelic substances, as far as I'm aware, but they work with darkness for many, many years. And the mammoths know a lot, and he's just explaining something. So the old mammoths have told him that there's a place outside this planet, outside of the Earth. It's called Tejuna. And there is where people live, very advanced, but without material technology. See you. Eh, eh, por eso mismo, eh, hay una respuesta que estaba dando una de ustedes, que se asemeja mucho a lo que dicen los mamos. Eh, la Madre Tierra, nuestros padres espirituales, nos ha dejado con una sabiduría. Esas sabidurías ancestral es la tecnología. So, it is important to understand that we have also been left with a technology. 
We've also been left with technology, and this technology is our ancestral knowledge. It is the wisdom of our tradition of the mammals. Para poder eh, dialogar con los animales, para poder el, el hablado de los animales, digamos, como el tigre, como las culebras, los mamos sin tecnologías sí saben comunicarse estando desde un sitio sagrado donde se originan las culebras, donde se, se originan los tigres. Entonces, en este momento, los mamos hacen un trabajo espiritual. Cuando uno va a trabajar, cuando uno va a, a limpiar, y las culebras se van, y no tendría que matar a la culebra. Eso se hace a través de sabiduría con el conocimiento de la madre naturaleza. And yesterday, I don't remember in which talk, we saw um, that we are building technology now, AI-based technology, to communicate with animals, I think it was. I don't remember exactly which one. And he says, we also have this technology, but we don't need technology for it. We have the mammals, we have the, the, the people who will go to the sacred sites. And they will know exactly where the sacred sites of the different animals are. They will sit there, they will concentrate, and they will talk to the animals. That's their technology. That's the way that within themselves they know how to communicate, they know how to connect, without physically being there. So, we were also talking about it yesterday, that a lot of technologies about communications, about distances, about connecting people, but he says they know how to do these things internally. They know how to do these things and, and go to the sacred place and they know what he was talking about, the snakes, what the snakes are thinking, what the snakes want, what the snakes need. So um, they have also their technology, their ancient knowledge. Uh, <coughs> Porque los animales, digamos, estamos hablando de las culebras que existen en Colombia, no lo hace, no, no lo pica porque quiere picar, sino que él está reclamando unas deudas que nosotros hacemos con él. Si nosotros no tenemos deuda a las naturalezas, siempre vamos a estar bien. Entonces, por eso mismo, eh, los mamos saben cómo eh, hacer pagamento para que ese animal no nos afecte. And he's explaining further that the snakes, for example, in Colombia there are a lot of venomous snakes. They don't bite because they want to harm. They don't bite because they want to bite. They bite because of the disbalances that we have left with nature. So when we do the, the pagamiento, voy explicando lo que es el, el pagamiento. Uh, so they do these the rituals to, to give back to the earth. So they go to the sacred sites, they concentrate, sometimes they take materials to really connect and give back to the earth, to the different, different things. So for example, it could be to the snakes, to the plants, to the beans, to the wind, to the water, to the fire, to, um, it can be very specific, it's like the red bean has a specific sacred site, so it's a very specific thing, or a certain type of bird has a very specific sacred site. So they go and they do their rituals to keep the things in balance, and they say, if we have a debt, like something where we've affected, where we've harmed, where we've caused, caused yeah, basically destruction to, to the earth, this is how things get out of balance, and this comes back to us. And this is, for example, why snakes start to bite. Entonces, eh, nos toca, eh, en vez de alejar de la madre naturaleza, nos toca más como acercar más, aprender de las naturalezas, aprender la historia del agua, historia del árbol, historia de la laguna, historia del cerro. Si nosotros aprendemos más hacia las naturalezas, la tecnología 
puede ser más acorde con las naturalezas. ¿Pero alejar de la naturaleza también por la tecnología o cómo, cómo se aleja de la naturaleza? ¿Por la tecnología? Sí, por la tecnología. O sea, uh -huh. nosotros mismos, nuestros nuestras conocimientos que tenemos, crear tecnología que no es acorde con las naturalezas. So he says, like, from our minds that are a little separate from, from nature, we create technology that further takes us away from nature. So from, from the place of mind where we're already a little bit separate, already a little distant from nature, the technology created takes us further away from nature. So instead of doing that and believing through technology we we'll return to nature, we need to first return to nature because only then we will be able to create technology that can go in accordance with nature. Por ejemplo, hoy en día los Kogi, eh, para, hacer, para sanar la pico, picadura de culebra se necesita antiofídico, ¿verdad? Suero antiofídico. Eso es creado por la tecnología, ¿verdad? Hay que hacer muchos experimentos, hay que hacer muchos estudios. Los mamos de ahora sanan la picadura, la picadura de culebra sin antio, suero antiofídico solamente haciendo trabajos espirituales con las plantas medicinales de la naturaleza. So he's giving um, he's giving an example of the what's it called in English antidote of of, of venom yeah antidote. Um, so of the antidote uh, antidote for for snake bites. So we believe we're very smart people and we developed antidotes in a technological way and it took us a lot of experiments a lot of snakes were caught like you need to experiment a lot to find these antidotes. And they say, we also have our antidotes. And our antidote is to prevent the snakes from biting. And this is how we do through rituals. We talk to the snakes and they don't bite. That's our way and our technology as an antidote. Eh, nosotros tenemos nuestra propia tecnología. Los animales tiene su propia tecnología que no se ha perdido. En cambio, nosotros, como seres humanos, nuestra madre nos dio las tecnologías, hemos olvidado y hemos creado por nosotros mismos. Eso es lo que afecta a la madre tierra. Los animales tienen su tecnología y hasta ahora lo mantiene. La madre espiritual, el padre espiritual, es quien le va a decir que tiene que cambiar. Por ejemplo, la telaraña es su tecnología, es construir la casa de esa manera, porque así, desde un principio, se le entregó la madre y nunca lo ha cambiado. Por eso nosotros, para construir las casas, utilizamos la tecnología de la, de la telaraña para construir una casa. No podemos cambiar. Por eso la casa de nosotros es como en forma de, la casa de telarañas, en forma de cómo se construyó el cerro, porque el cerro así está construido también. Entonces, nuestras casas tienen que ser acorde con la naturaleza, acorde con la casa de telaraña. ¿Cuándo es que a nosotros nos toca cambiar la, la forma de casas? Cuando la telaraña cambie de hacer su casa. Sí. So he's saying that all the animals were also left with their technologies. He's referencing the spiders. The spiders are building their spider webs. That's a form of technology. They're actually creating something. It's a structure they are building. It's a form of technology. The way they produce the materials, what they do. Every animal, every plant, every living being has been left with its own technology. And they believe it comes from the mother. The mother has organized this. It's, it's a conscious act of, of distributing these different technologies to the different, different uh, ways of, uh, as, as living beings. And for example, the, the Kogi built their houses on the structure of the spider web. Like the idea of the spider web is the way they built the structures of the, of the roofs of the houses. 
And this is because it was was left to the spider, it was left left to nature, and, and this is how they how they how they build it. And now they say there is like the spider has never changed the way it's building its web. It's never it's never changed it. And they say we as humans can start, or in this case the Kogi, they can start changing the way they build their houses the moment a spider starts changing the way it builds its nets. Entonces, eh, siempre eh, los indígenas de la sierra, como los Kogi, siempre encamina a la norma ancestral a las normas de la Madre Tierra. Por ejemplo, nosotros hemos hecho las mochilas con líneas, porque así está la Madre Tierra, con la línea negra. La línea negra que circula la Tierra es como las venas de nosotros. Así como nosotros tenemos las venas, la Madre Tierra también tiene sus venas. Como tenemos nosotros el cerebro, la Madre Tierra tiene cerebro. Entonces, Siempre es cualquier cosa que nosotros construimos es teniendo en cuenta la norma que existe sobre la naturaleza. So that's why we indigenous people from the Sierra Nevada, Santa Marta, um, we still stick to the laws of the Great Mother. You can see these bags here. These bags have lines, and most of the bags have black lines. So. There is the the black lines, the la sechilla, no? Ordinar? Sí. Por aquí, por aquí. Um, okay, man, can you show him? Super. Um, so there are the black lines, and the black lines are the energies that run through the earth. And these black lines actually look like them, uh, we, we had them draw it like a spider web. So it's, it's the energy that runs through the earth connecting the sacred, sacred sites. And this is technology that, is, that was left to the earth. It is the technology of the earth to have these energy lines running through the planet. It's a form of technology. And That's, for example, why in the most bags for the most lineages you will see these black lines running through. They represent the, the energy going in lines through the planet, like the, like the spider web. La sechilla es como telarañas, ¿no? And so whenever we build something as humans, we need to really understand the technology of the Earth. We need to really understand the way the Earth is built and she's building things in that way. And if we build something as indigenous people, we will always take into account these, what they call the law of origin. And, and that applies for everyone. Like everyone, whenever we build something, we should need to first really understand and second to really take into account the law of origin. Él está preguntando qué es la ley de C, o sea, qué es la, la línea negra, qué es la, la ley de C. La línea negra es donde da la fuerza, donde está la, la fuerza energética de la madre tierra. Si no estuviese esa línea negra, no tendría la madre tierra la fuerza para poder existir. So, what is important is to understand is that there is the web of energy that's like the skeleton. It supports the planet, it supports everything that is alive. Without that web of energies, it wouldn't be possible for anything to live or to exist. Eh, sin, la, sin la tecnología avanzada, nosotros simplemente miramos lo que nosotros hacemos. Lo mamos saben. Y ustedes también saben que existe el sistema solar que tiene nueve planetas. Los mamos lo saben también que existen nueve planetas. ¿Por qué? Porque hay tel, hay el, la casa de la avispa tiene nueve capas. 
El nacimiento de nosotros, siempre hablamos de nueve meses. Todas las cosas que nosotros en la parte espiritual que hablamos son todo nueve. Entonces, si nosotros, por eso mismo, eh, nosotros aprendemos de las naturalezas, del agua, de la avispa, de las telarañas. Ahí está el conocimiento, ahí están las sabidurías. No hay tanta crear la... Nosotros nos, como indígenas se ve que estamos muy, muy quedados en la parte de tecnología. Pero los mamos saben muchos. Sin tecnología alcanza a ver muchas dimensiones de las galaxias. So, he's saying that um, there is, how can I put it? Like, um, okay, no planeta, sí, yeah, 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 sí, sí. Um, so they're they're like the, there's the solar system that we have, we have we have we have our planetary system with the planets and and everything and the mammals know that and he believes you also know that uh, that there are the planets and the sun and these kind of things and it is they say it's always the number of nine it's like for example the the wasps when they build their houses it's always nine layers that they build. Um, their houses, for example. Why do we humans get born in nine months? Why? Why is it nine months that we are that we are in in in, in our mother's bellies? This is not random. This is part of of the of the law of origin. This is part of the the legacy, and um, this is something that we know and we still remember. So often, when we speak about indigenous people, when we speak about the Kogi, people say, "Well." They are very uh, like um, underdeveloped technologically. They don't have technologies, but that's not true. The mammals have the technologies and have the capabilities to actually travel far beyond this planet, travel far beyond these dimensions, and this is part of their technology. Este, voy explicando eso de, de la película a Luna de de Hatesi Volata en Londres de, de los planetas, sí, cortico. So there is. There is one of the mammals, he's one of the most wise mammals, and he's actually, he's been to London once. And he went there to speak to an astronomer who had images of the Hubble Space Telescope. And the astronomer wanted to explain him, yeah, that's like space, and started to explain these are the galaxies, the planets, the, the stars, and everything. And the mammal said, yeah, yeah, I know, but by the way, there's only one star here, or two stars, I, th I think he said two stars. And this one and this one. The rest are groups of stars, but they're so close together that they appear as one. And behind this one star, there's another one, but you can't see it from Earth. And so he started explaining the astronomer, and the astronomer said, well, actually that's true. And then they said, well, how do you know? He said, well, that's our knowledge. It's our ancestral knowledge. See? Bueno, entonces, eso es nosotros, la tecnología, de construir casas, de construir un puente, siempre relacionado con la creación de la madre tierra, construir las mochilas, construir las ropas, siempre es, cuando nosotros construimos la ropa, tenemos en cuenta con los cuatro direccionales, con cuatro puntos cardinales. Por eso mismo, el material que construye la ropa se llama shkwakala, es el, el cuatro puntos cardinales. So, for example, when we, when we build our clothing, we will always take the four directions into account. So, there is shkwakala, shkwakala. so there are the, the four directions, and these need to always be taken into account when we build our clothing because it's not different from the world, it's not different from the cardinal points in the world. Entonces, pues para nosotros eso es como una forma de reparar, reparar a la madre por daños que hemos hecho, por a través de las acciones, acciones que acuerda, que acorde con la naturaleza. Cuando hacemos las mochilas, estamos... Eh, 
reparando, cuando hacemos las ropas, cuando construimos las la casas, cuando construimos el puente, cuando construimos el camino. Eso es reparar en la parte espiritual. So what we use is actually regenerative technology. But the regeneration happens in spirit. So when we weave the bags, when we weave the clothing, when we build our houses, we do it in a way that we work with our thoughts, in a way that we give back to earth, we give back to creation, we connect. Um, Anna Maria has already explained about the bags. She's explained like how the women do it, how, what, what the process is. And also, for example, the, the women, they weave the bags and the men, they weave the clothing. And that is actually relating to the, uh, it's, like, I, I, it's like me speaking now, I'm explaining a little bit so you understand what he means. It's relating to the archetypal energies, for example. So the bags are weaved in a way that goes around, it goes in circles. It's like the energies of the women. It's, it's this original energy representing, represented in the, in, the, in the cosmos, basically. And the weaving of the clothing goes in lines. It's like you, you weave like that. And it's the archetypal energy of the men, it's the linear energies. So in knowing these things, taking that still into account, we are, as he's, we are repairing the world, he said. We are, we, are, we, are, we are healing through these archetypal energies, through these archetypal movements of, of thought, of creation. We are giving back the strength to life. And that's a way for us to use technology in a regenerative way. Bueno, por eso mismo, eh, termino diciendo la tecnología, para que esta tecnología se pueda eh, mejorar en forma positiva, nos toca desde la semilla, desde las semillas de, de la humanidad. So to change that, to, to change, so that is now um, their approach to, to regenerating the world. We need to start from the seeds, from the seeds of humanity. Eh, la semilla, cuando nosotros fecundamos, allí empiezas a nacer como nació la madre tierra, como creó el mundo. Primero el agua. Y la madre tierra primero fue el agua. So the moment of conception, the moment of con conception of the human being, it happens in the water. And the beginning of the, of the earth, of the world, was also in the water. So at the moment of conception of a human, we're actually connecting to the moment of origin of our planet. Por eso mismo, al momento de empezar a formar el niño, nosotros como los indígenas de la sierra lo que hacemos es que confesar, no entregar esas energías que uno peleó con su mujer, dio rabia con su mujer, eh, tuvo rabia, no entregar esa energía a esa semilla. So the most important thing to change something in the world is to cleanse the thoughts before and the moment of conception. Because this is the place where these energies are transmitted to the next generation. So they have a, a technology which is, um, like in Spanish they call it confession, like confesar, but it actually it is more like they are, they are cleansing, cleansing their thoughts, cleansing their, their emotional and, and mental, mental, mental bodies and giving back and, and cleansing these thoughts that, for example, if you, if you fight uh, with your partner, if you feel angry, if you disagree, if you're in resistance or whatever, like these thoughts need to be cleansed and put in order, in order to create, at the moment of conception, a different and clean impulse for the next generation. Um. El primer día es el agua, el segundo día es el huesos o el segundo mes. 
la tierra, el primer día del agua, la roca que representa el hueso de la madre tierra. Y así fuimos formando, formando. A los nueve meses ya estaba completo y nosotros a los nueve meses ya estamos, a los ocho meses, no sé, estamos completos y falta crecer los bellos. Y los bellos a la tierra son los árboles. A los nueve, a los nueve etapas, a los nueve días, a los nueve meses, se, en el mundo hay naturalezas y nosotros hay el cabello, hay los bellos. Por eso mismo, nacer un niño es igual que nacer la madre tierra. So the way we grow as children in our mother's bellies is the way the world formed. So when we think about regenerating the world, we need to think about the development of human beings in our mother's bellies. So we start off in the water. So the first month is the, is the water, the cleansing of the water, these kind of things. Then the body starts little by little with the different things, with the bones will form, the muscles will form, the eyes will form, the hair will form. So all the things, and they have their representation, like the trees, for example, are the hair that we have on our body. The rocks, for example, are the bones, the structures of our body. So when we do the cleansing in our mother's bellies of these, these thoughts, and they are there for the, all, the, all the months of the pregnancy, they have like different rituals and different things that need to be cleansed. We're not only making sure that the next generation is cleansed and, and is actually like put in order, but at the same time, we are re regenerating the earth by connecting to the origin and the development how our planet formed. Eh, bueno, por eso mismo, cuando la semilla está en el vientre, hay que entregar energía positiva. Desde allá nos toca curar esas, esas negativas que el niño va hacia su futuro, primero tenemos que marcarlo cuando está en la semilla, cuando está en el vientre de la mamá. Por eso mismo la madre es de gran importancia, representa la tierra, representa el agua, representa el aire. Entonces, desde allá nos toca organizar. Porque estando, ayer decíamos, cuando el niño está pequeño, no escucha, pero... Cuando el niño está en el vientre es que va a escuchar todo y va a consumir toda la energía de las madres que hacemos físicamente. So the most important thing, if we want to start somewhere changing the world, the most important thing is pregnancy. Because even though we're small, we don't have... Thank you. So even though we're small, we don't have ears yet, we, we, we don't have our organs and our sensory, sensory organs, these kind of things, we're already here, we're here in spirit. We hear the thoughts of the mothers, we hear the thoughts of the fathers of the family. And this is the place where our chaos, the disorder, can be, can be restructured again, can be ordered again, can be put in order. So the most important thing is to take care of the process of pregnancy and the ordering the thoughts of the mother, the ordering the thoughts, putting back in order the thoughts of, of, um, yeah, basically of the whole family, of everyone, because this has the greatest effect on the baby yet to be born. Entonces, por eso mismo, <coughs> eh, en la Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta, se separa los tres páramos, la parte media y la parte baja. Un completo, un territorio, un cuerpo completo. En la parte baja está a mano de los colonos, daña los sitios sagrados, daña la línea negra. Por eso nosotros queremos recuperar para poder asentar en ese lugar y seguir haciendo la saneación, concentrar en, en esos sitios para que la Madre Tierra pueda tener las energías para que nos pueda cuidar a nosotros. Entonces, eso es lo que quería comentarlos. Es un mensaje de los mambos de la Sierra Nevada. 
So for us, it's important to have the body complete. In the Sierra Nevada Santa Marta, our home mountains, we divide it between the higher levels, the medium levels, and the lower levels. In the lower levels of the mountains, there are still the Colombians, there are still the Colombian farmers. They know nothing about it. They don't respect the sacred places. So they are causing damage to the territory. The mammals can't go there to do their rituals. So this is affecting the body. And this is why we would like to ask you to help us buy back this land. This is why we would like to ask you to help us get these sacred spaces back so we can do the rituals and take care of the mother. This is the message I'm here to bring from the mamos of the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. No, I was just saying, if everybody in this room, you know, was to throw in a few hundred dollars, which isn't really that much for us, they'd be really far on their way for making this goal. I just threw in a few hundred dollars, and you know, um, I think we should all think about doing that in proportion to the wealth that we have. It would be very good to uh, to make them make their goal and feel like they had a very successful visit here. Yeah. Good, good morning. Bueno, Nesia, como Mama Nakuge. Casa como hier in Amenke. Nati Dueba. Casa Gina Nakwirsha. Gueni Nasa hier como Casa Cas Navasha. Hate Haba. Hina Nalti Haba. Alduna Gini. Luna Gini here, Melia Chankalatskas Navasha, Shan Chankalatska Znavasha Gunene Nas Hai Kegaba Kaleki Amar Noa Zneshi Nas J. Hangwelka Ni Melia Shan Chakwalzika, Aluna Shan Shlega Kwalzika Znega Ganka. I no gacha heni nani ki was made a tall and a gacha sha gatalde a luna jute the gacha hina nadi sha gatalde a luna zulk casa geniki made a chigilde the sanguaki a nabama and a vecha casa gajalde she made a Tuki get a smell at cha, a chagale, Nalini Gini. I sign a hang your list in Algi, Chibank and Chibe at Chagucha. Here, Sha made the harbor, Shangwa Pana, made the Chapana, Kaldi Arzeja hangers on the Pana, Gay Carl Arzeja hangers on the Pana, Zilla Arzeja hangers on the Pana. Uh, Ingani, he are they ja hangwaki, haba shalla, hate shalla, nahi squa shalla to hangwa jalt. Ne hanguine, hi in ye shibalama ya zungaquan zungaquanama. Ne lakine la quadrica and no rich or shagua quadrica. Sakibel jack with la quadrica and alzica. E cajini nasum, come on. I had numas to acquire Scazon Hale de Ginia. Hi, Kigba here, Mokoya, Sha Aluna Zunga Tegul de Cre. Any hate shanguin, have a shanguin, Guacalska, hang was on Sonata. Ne Neski, he came at Ingahangua. He 
Ina haiz nas aluna haiz naka zahi go kahanga sha aluna jirte gua kwalze katoe nuwa arze jahan gua zansanala shka shka kwamele kwenuwa kwen nabi kwehi kwen nuk enchi ahate nukajinia en nama hate kwen nasan gua kai na dijini خلیه از اینجا هنگوز سنالا نو ایگت اخسالی شگو اقلی نیکی سایج کلا قلی خ قلی خ زن قصای زی خلی خ اقلی این یه ایکی تگی قای ملی یا هجی یا از اینجا این خیلی با جان اسان هنگو کی و چن اس خیلی با که هنگو انگا سنابش نام هوا سنابش نام این انالد ناس های کم های زنی کوکاها تو این لونا مدل تو هنگو کنن لکوال جزنقه میل میزیگا کنن لانالا مول باتای زنزای خلاگولیک و چه انتی به کن انتی به هنگو زیگچا نس هنگو هاله هیه انتی به شه های نانی خواچی اغلیگچا هنی ناس خیلی با خاتو چزنقه این که نام آشاتی میل as coisas pana, meio de chapana, ia chapana, o qual dizer que há inas alunas na que sai mato, mas o qual que ia até me a qual que o cheque mawanga o qual, se o qual me chuja mawanga o qual, ina nal de há inas que é baque, há meia é que a gente na base na base a gunama como aluna que a gente aí این آشی زوکان خلاص کنن نه نمیهات نمیهات کاسه کمیل دیگه شش کیس نباشه تو کی شا جلگا خلاص کنن لیا اکشین اکی جه اکی آلون از نه خلاص کس نباشه شگون های های آلون گات گانا شا آلون جلگا پانا اچا خلاص کنن نالدر اکشین ای هات ای هوا، هی نال دی هوا، هوا کی، نی بونگوکی، زال دیم، نی بون، نی بونگوکی نه، زال دیم نه، نوسش خانه گل، جلوکش خاکوال دی، نه های، اما غبی ناسون، این باغ سونز نیه نی، سه و غر سونز میل در سونز، اتشل لغو کوال دی که، این یز ناتو چه کشان چپان. آهی و او که شنگولا گفته که آدمی هنچه زیگش از کنن، اما خزشی نیچی کپان، میل دچپان، هرکی دچپان، که نگاه چاقوی که هنی زیگلا، گو کنن نسنجوا که، اکشی نی، ای مهنگاش ای میل دیم با قوای دیناس جکو زنگت سلیق، سیوار، هابا. جات قرناس ماما کی جات گوچای ماما یا سنگلا شانج لگا کوادیک ماما یا هی از سنگلیل ای هوا از سنگلیل هوا از سنگلی گونه نگم هکیج کلا کوادیک جنیا ای هوا سه هی نال جه هوا سه نوسه میزگا سنزان جنی هوا شوی میزشی جه کلا کوای ماما ما های نیز تونکه میل داشت پانه گوشه که هنچی میزگا کی نلکو، این که ای نوسای میزشینگا تو کی میزگا کنار زیر کنو کنه، حالا کی ای هوا سه شوی میزشی، آلونا میل ده های میزگا کی میسیگی نه میه مونجی نه نی نوسش گوانا نلکی جه کلا کار زیر که نی میل ده آرکوا کار زیر که ای چنان کی نلکو نه، حالا نکانه حالا کی ای هوا سه ای هات اینا هنی گرکاهیا هات ایکوال زینگا هوا ایکوال زینگا اکشنی که هات توکوال زینا هات توکوال زینا ای هوا سه اهوگوکی هوگوکی اینا هات ایکوال زی نو نواهیا هات ایکوگا ایساجوایا هات ایکوگا نو نو وی نگو که قلی میل دنگو که گی که نو هاتی کالی 
no Adakaji Akalaji, Kabwa Kalaji, Akalin Nukane, and Marbena Hini Nasin at Sankalas, no Shinga Nukane, Yamoko Shan, a Chapana, a Chakwaljake, any Nukakwe, Shangas and Hankuzanaz. Alleging Hanchel Segaki, Hai Habak Panukaya Nasa Chunki, Melia Sestakin, and the Cha, Hai Sestunkanas, Hai. My Nanya Hangutogaki Squakala Kazuka Hate to a squakala. In an adi squakala. A skinny male duna mikla laquene, Gormingaki, he, the lakina la quadra hate, a shazan hangula quilzer, a yemelis in the copan, a lay a noose of the check, shamaquacon lecha, guns in the hangingana. Eki as Wanki, a chalky made his zuzi zig. Go to Kaneneski, Hiki Gamalinga Hang. Hiki. Any questions? Hay una. Cuenta los mamo la historia. Eh. Personajes de la sierra, cuando no hubo la tecnología, él pasaba en continente, en otra parte. Pasaba en otro continente. Y so se hablaba, se hablaba con los, con los gente que vive acá, sin haber hecho un curso de, de inglés, de francés, de alemanes, sino que ellos sabían cómo entenderse. So he's telling the story that there was a time when the great mamas from the Sierra, um, they would travel. They would travel the world in spirit. And he's telling that they would go here and, and speak to the people in, in these lands um, just in spirit without knowing any French or English or anything like that. So, um, yeah, that's, that's how they did it. Bueno, entonces como que hemos perdido esa, esa tecnología de entender la lengua entre unos a otros, pues toca eh, traducirlo, porque me imagino que todos no lo entendieron lo que dijo el mamo. So, um, it seems that we have forgotten this technology to understand each other like, like that, or uh, am I mistaken that you didn't understand what the mamo said? Si no toco a buscar en, en, en un traductor, traductor de, de lenguajes, pero ahí tampoco no lo, va, no lo va a encontrar de la lengua Kogi. So now we have to look uh, for translators, and it's not easy to find translators who can speak uh, French or Spanish or uh, French or for English and, and also the, the Kogi language. Bueno, lo que está diciendo el mamo. Él es eh, hijo de un mamo, nieto de un mamo, de un mamo muy sabio, tenía mucha sabiduría, leía el agua cada sitio, leía, sabía los nombres de cada sitio sagrado, entonces pues él también ha aprendido ese conocimiento. And he says he is the son and the grandson of two great mamos. And these mamos would walk around and in all the rivers, all the waters, they would read what the mother is saying. And this is the knowledge that has been passed down to him from his ancestors. Eh, ese mamo le había dicho, para uno aprender, toca aprender desde a luna. Desde el espíritu, desde el interior del cuerpo, tiene que planificar qué es lo que va a estudiar, qué es lo que va a aprender, cómo es, va a aprender. Eso nace desde el espíritu. So to learn these, these things, we need to learn them starting from spirit. Starting from the spirit world, we need to learn, we need to think about what we will learn, what we will plan, what we will do. Eh, nosotros como los mamos vivimos en un ambiente de las naturalezas, en un ambiente 
del espíritu de la naturaleza. So, we as the mammals, we live in a natural environment. We live in nature and we live in this in the place of um, natural spirit. Eh, también el abuelo le había dicho que nosotros eh, encima de las, de las madre tierra no hay una norma que digas en la norma ancestral no hay una norma que diga que hay que destruir hay que perforar la tierra hay que perforar el, el cerros hay que saquear los objetos sagrados de la tierra so his grandfather told him that there was there is no law in nature no law left in the great mother that says we should destroy we should move the earth we should make holes into the mountains. There is no such law, no such rule left by the mother. Nosotros los mamos aprendemos de árbol, aprendemos de la existencia de objetos sagrados como oro, tumas, olla de barro, no para sacarlo, sino que para dar consejo cuál es la historia ¿Cuál es la importancia que tiene esos objetos sagrados? So the important thing is not to take out the things from the earth. Why are they there? They're not there to be taken out. They are there to give us advice. The sacred objects, the metals, they are there to give us advice on how to live well. Él ha escuchado de que en Colombia mucha gente aprende de la parte de ingeniería y minería, en vez de ayudar a los a lo que está dentro de la tierra, es sacarlo de ahí. Entonces nosotros lo vamos, nos, no es así, es para poder defenderlo, aprender de ellas para poder defender. So he's heard that many people are studying things like mining, and many people, especially in Colombia, work also in mining industry. And, but this is not okay. This is not how it should be done. It is, these things are there in the ground to learn from them, to, to connect to them, to, 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 yeah, to connect to the wisdom that they entail, not to take them out of the earth. En nosotros la educación se llama Shivalama. Shivalama es aprender la historia, cómo nace el árbol, cómo nace el agua, cómo nace el cerro, cómo está construido. ¿Dónde está la columna? Columna vertebral de la Madre Tierra. Ese es el Shivlama que nosotros aprendemos. And there is a word called Shibulama. Shibulama means education or it can also mean wisdom. And it means to learn the history, the stories. The story of the tree, of the rock, of the water, of the mountains. Because they say, and this is now me speaking, they say that we need to know the stories of origins of all the things to truly understand why they are there. And only like that we will not destroy. Nuestro Padre Espirituales nos dejó la tierra, nos dejó como encargado a nosotros. Nosotros somos el dueño de la Madre Tierra. Eh, como que somos el dueño, nos toca cuidar, pero se entiende, pareciera que no somos como dueño, estamos destruyendo. So it was left to us to be the guardians, and it was not left to us to destroy, but that's what we're doing. Eh, todo lo que existe en la naturaleza, en un principio, fueros humanos también como los animales, aves, eh, animales terrestres, voladores, todo eso era árboles, todo eso era humanos. Por eso mismo, en vista de la parte espiritual, las plantas son como niñas, el agua es como niñas, y nosotros, las niñas son como el agua, como el arroyo. La planta es como niños. 
So all living things, all the animals, all the plants, they once were also people in spirit. And all of them are there, for example, the, the rivers are the women, the streams are the girls, the plants are the, are the, are the children. All of them are like, like children, they are there also because they're also people. La madre naturaleza también siente <coughs> el atropello que hacemos, llora también. Por eso mismo hay veces llueve cuando hay mucho sol, porque la madre está llorando. So the mother also cries, she feels, she, she's a sentient being. So sometimes, for example, there is a lot of very strong rain. That is also because the mother is, is crying. Para nosotros matar una persona es matar el agua, matar el aire, matar alimentos. Por eso mismo en la sierra nosotros no matamos a otras personas. So for us to kill someone is to kill the water, is to kill the air is to kill the earth. And that's why we don't kill people in the Sierra Nevada. Eh, nosotros nos toca eh, coger el ejemplo de la tierra. Nosotros nunca hemos visto la laguna, es la mujer, el cerro, es el hombre. Nunca hemos visto peleándose entre los dos. So, we need to take example from the earth. The mountain is the man. Um, the lakes are the women. Have you ever seen them fighting? Cuando hay, cuando hay celo, cuando nosotros celamos a nuestros esposos, cuando nosotros celamos a la mujer, es donde hay deslizamiento. Se deslizas, esa tierra entra a las lagunas y eso lo afecta. ¿Quién, quién eh, hace, quién, quién es lo que, ha, eh, que esa tierra puede pasar eso? Nosotros mismos podemos, eh, el, el comportamiento de la naturaleza, nosotros mismos damos orden. So, for example, if we are jealous or if we envy, some, envy someone, we actually affecting the earth doing that because we are the earth. That's actually our emotions directly affect the earth. Eh, cada quien nos dejó nuestro norma de un territorio. Nosotros tenemos el, el yatoqua que nos guías. Él habla de las naturalezas, del agua. De comportamiento de todo es el yato a, usted, a ustedes también le dejaron una norma sobre la tierra, el cuidado de la tierra, el control. Entonces nosotros regimos a esa yato Ya. Um, so there was uh, the laws and the rules left. Uh, there was the laws and the rules left. Um, to, to, um, to take care of the Great Mother. And we have the oracle, the Jatokwa. The oracle is, is what, we, uh, what we use to consult, to connect. Bueno, eso es lo que está diciendo el mamo. That's what the mamo was saying. If you want to... Uh, We've just listened, I don't know, how was it, two hours or what was the time that we just had to, to speak with the elders? Normally, they're used to speaking nine days and nine nights consecutively. So I've asked Luik if we could extend the conference to nine days and nine nights, but he said it might be a little difficult uh, to do that. So, but we have something, and we've spoke about it briefly yesterday, and tomorrow we have the opportunity to go on a deep dive. Tomorrow we have a day with the Kogis at a private residence in Paris, small group. For those who say, okay, now we've just touched a tiny little bit of the vast knowledge of these people. And I don't know how you feel, but for me, it, I'm every time amazed. I'm, I'm since seven years working with them, and every time I sit on stage with them, I learn something new. 
every time I'm, I'm amazed by the vast, deep knowledge these people still have. So, um, tomorrow, if you want to go deeper, there's the opportunity to come to the private residence. I think we have a few tickets left, left Luik. I'm not sure. We, we, we do have a few tickets. It, it, to be clear, it's 800 euros. 100% goes to the Kogis. Exactly. It's also helping them. So, if you have a They can be bought on the website, I think. Yeah, you away. can power.life, uh, just get this ticket. There is exactly. one ticket for tomorrow. Exactly. 10 to 5, it's at uh, also a donation from a friend, a private house with a garden. It's going to be very It'll special be very nice. if you can join. So, and we will have a lot more time to go deeper and speak more about it. I have two more things, very short, I'd like to, to finish with. Because today we've heard Ana Maria speak, Ariose speak, and Mamo Luciano speak. And of course, it's always good to hear the elders, but it's also the next generation we wanted to bring to stage. So I have one quick question to Ana Maria. I will ask her what her dreams are for the future, for her, what she wants to become. Ana Maria, ¿cuál es tu sueño que quieres ser en el, en el futuro? Mi sueño es ser defensora de mi pueblo, defender a mi pueblo. Y es lo que quiero y pues creo que es el estudio del derecho, que es defender los deberes de mi pueblo. Es mi sueño de lo que quiero alcanzar y también aprender a hablar el inglés porque como puedo ver aquí hablan más del idioma inglés y pues yo no sé entonces creo que para mí es muy bueno estudiar inglés para interactuar más con la gente que habla en inglés porque no entiendo inglés entonces me gustaría estudiar e interactuar más saber cada pensamiento de ustedes y hablarlo con ustedes. Yo solamente hablo en español, no entiendo muy bien el inglés, entonces creo que sería algo muy bueno para mí estudiar inglés e interactuar con ustedes. So, she said she wants to become a lawyer. She wants to become a defender of her people, of the rights and of the ancient territory. And she wants to learn to speak English. Because she, she's, I mean, we are here, 40 nations, as Luik said, in this conference. And basically everyone speaks English. And she's, she's realized that only speaking Spanish will not bring her to the place she wants to speak. We had a wonderful conversation yesterday with, with Vasily about the United Nations. She says she wants to speak in the United Nations about her cause, about her people. <laughs> But she needs to learn English. And unfortunately, in the Colombian state system, the English that she learns at school is very bad. So what we need is people who would voluntarily be happy to support our young lady here to study English. So she can speak with the world. And she would be the first, not only woman, but the first Kogi to speak English. So if anyone is up for that, We will put a bag here, on our, or, or we, can, we, can, we can talk later here, actually, we will talk later here for people who would be interested in actually helping her finance an English course. I think it wouldn't be a lot. I, I think with, I don't know, 5,000 euros, I guess we could have three years of English course and she would be an excellent English speaker. Next time, I would be replaced. She could do the translation. Next power conference. And... Um, If people are in this room who would be interested in helping this young lady become a defender of her people and a spokesperson to be able to speak to the world in English, it would be very much appreciated. We have, um, we also, I, I would like to say that this is not for this morning. This, it says 30 days, 126 days left. Exactly. We'll make it a thousand days left, but uh, please, You can help in one thing, if you, if you donate or not, um, you can all share it. Exactly. There is a tweet on uh, Power, there is an Instagram post, create your own. Um, share it, because everybody online as well, please share it too, watching this. Because you, you, you never know. One little tweet, one little link, whatever you use, or WhatsApp, your word, 
It's very important. There is someone on WhatsApp right now asking me if I, if I can put their dividends or their, you know, something major. It's already like, it's going. There is something that came out this morning. And uh, I would like us to raise a million dollars, not like that, you know? So. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Luik, a lot. And uh, as you said, this is, this is the course. And, and if anyone personally feels called to helping this young lady change her life and probably the destiny of her people, we can just talk later. There's one last thing. As you've seen, we have cameras. We're doing a film with the Kogi because they said their message needs to be broadcasted more in the world. We have a very short trailer. I think it's one minute something. I think we have the time to put it on and then we can just meet here and, and the Kogi can, can rest. So. Uh, Please, let's have, let's have the, the trailer of the film to get a little idea to what we're trying to do is basically put the idea... Once we thought that everything is interconnected. Is actually, now we think everything's separate. And we are in they survived the conquistadors, the drug cartels, the paramilitaries. O -E. And now we are the ones searching for a connection. O -E. mm -hmm. And they happen to have it. See, I'm connected. Yeah. They do have an understanding of technology. It's just vastly different than what we've been taught. Their technology happened to serve them quite well for the past 4,000 years. Hemos hecho el recorrido por cuatro países, Alemania, Suiza, Austria y Suecia. Y Suecia queda muy al norte, al norte, al norte. ¿Hablaré con el cabildo? Sí. Aquí tenemos el, el libro que hemos hecho hace, hace siete años. ¿Se acuerda? Sí, ya fue lo que yo tuve en Alemania. Mira, no entiendo esta lengua. Yo puedo hacer conferencia, pero no es igual. Algún día le tocaría venir. Nunca haga conferencia con su corazón. They don't depend on you. You are one interested one, mm -hmm. but you need to play down the rules of the game. Yo puedo leer, aquí no lo leo, mm -hmm. pero lo muestro. Mm -hmm. Esta es. Pero algún día tiene que venir nunca. They have no idea what I've Para cada una conferencia de verdad. Are you big? Are you small? How is testing your ground? I'm very sorry, there should have been subtitles. For some reason, they were not there. But we have our wonderful filmmaking team here, Kiman and Basti, and if you're interested also in the project, talk to them. Thanks a lot, and uh, yeah, we can be out. Oh, Luik, okay, sorry. Thank you, thank you, Lucas, too. Lucas brought this book, organized all the trip of the Kogis here. Thank you so much for, for that. Help Lucas too. <laughs> Uh, we have just a one hour break. At 1.30 there is the startup competition with Cafe Brook starting here. Uh, and many other talks ending with Tony Fadel who created the iPhone with uh, Steve Jobs. <laughs> and now, uh, it's not in the schedule but we organized it last minute. For those of you interested in uh, what we call Vision Quest, we have Miguel here, our uh, Vision Quest Sundance Chief, who is going to do a small circle in one of the rooms here. Right now, if you, if you feel like uh, 
uh, knowing what this is, four days in nature, no food, no water, it's a very deep work. Thank you so much. Okay. Gracias. Yeah, we'll be here with the bags and people wanting to support the young lady. So, yeah, thank you. Merci beaucoup. Ich mag pipi. You can buy more bags too. They have some left. Very special gift for anyone. <laughs> <laughs>